OMG, hey chickadees. So, I don't have enough time. I, I only have enough time to make a 10 minute video. So let's get, let's get started. Um, so last night I went to the club. Yes, I did. Um, of course, there's just a random ass man walking figures. Like, lately it's been giving very much weird vibes lately like everything's just really weird vibes like coming to work this morning there's like so much traffic like everything's just giving weird vibes just like this random man walking to the corner of the parking deck with a giant ass ipad like is he checking trash cans yeah he's checking trash cans okay well i don't care so anyways um oh my friend's super cool I can just feel him like watching me right now. Like, bitch, mind your own fucking business. Damn. Damn. The already a minute into the video wasted. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, he's gone. All right, so basically, last night I went to the club and because I'm on antibiotics still, I didn't want to drink. Um, I didn't want to. I literally cannot drink. Um, so I just got like a Diet Coke. Well, I don't know if that was a good or a bad idea because let me tell you, the club last night already, like the crowd, like the crowd and just the vibe last night already was not it. And then to be sober when the vibe is already not it, like really just like... It left a really bad taste in my mouth. Like, I genuinely, like, I'm kind of, like, over the club right now. Like, I'm kind of over this one club I go to. I low-key, like, don't want to go back until, like, the end of July, like, August. Like, I really need, like, that much time off because of just how bad it was. Like, first of all, the fucking, the fucking, the freaking friend group took so long to get there. They took so long to get there. They didn't get there until like 11.30. And I got there at like 10.45. So I've just been like standing by myself for 45 minutes. Like, bitch, I was like standing up against a wall. Because my usual corner that I like to go to where it's like on this, like there's a chair like where I could sit at. And it's like, it doesn't seem like it's in the corner. So you're not like actually standing in the corner by yourself was taken up by these freaking annoying people. By these freaking straight people. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, seriously? What the heck? So, like, I'm just chilling, and then the freaking drag show starts. And of freaking course, I get, like, roped into being behind, like, like two clicks of really like annoying people and I'm just like someone please save me someone please rescue me it was just like so freaking annoying like I just kept getting like shoved behind people and like and it's like what's annoying is it's like I have known these I don't know these people I've never like introduced myself to them they've never introduced themselves to me but we know each other. Like, I know that they're not, like, that ignorant to where they don't remember, like, f they're not familiar with my face. Like, we, like, the freaking city I live in, like, the gay scene, the gay drag scene is very small. Um, and a lot of people go to all the shows in the city. And it's, like, these, the, these people, like, this, like, group of people I have seen for years literally for years probably over like four years at this point and it's just like you're really gonna give me a mean mug because i'm trying to tip someone and you're standing in front of me and you won't move out of the fucking way like last night was literally giving just mean mugs like everyone really had an attitude towards me like I guess it was how I was dressed. Like, I was just wearing an Adidas t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and some Adidas high tops. 
And then remember last week how I was like gushing over that one guy, Daquan, be at the club? Okay, well, he comes up to me and he's like, you need to stop dressing like you're straight. I'm like, oh, baby boy, what? Then I fucking catch his ass motherfucking flirting and kissing up on this one dude who is the same guy who always comes up to me and is like, did you go to this high school? Oh, because you remind me of someone. And that dude was doing nothing but straight up giving me the stank face last night. I was like, oh my God, like, what did I do? Did I pee in someone's roses? Like, shit. Like, what the fuck? So, all that aside, there's this one dude who usually goes there on Wednesday nights and he's like a go-go dancer. He does, he's not affiliated with the bar at all. He just shows up in freaking go-go, like, you know, like short shorts and like, he doesn't wear a t-shirt, like he doesn't wear a shirt in the club. Like he'll wear like a harness or like a vest or something. Um, I thought he was gay. Everyone thinks he's gay. Well, tell me why last night he is only dancing with underage girls and like rubbing up and touching on them. And he like started dancing with one of my old coworkers and like really like grabbing at her inner thighs. And she was like, freaking out and I felt so bad because I didn't do anything um until like my friend like ripped her off like ripped her away from the dude I'm like oh my freaking god like he's literally like sexually assaulting these like girls on the fucking dance floor fucking creep 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 and he wasn't drinking anything so I'm pretty sure he was like on like some sort of freaking drug like freaking ketamine freaking who freaking know I mean he kind of has a meth body so maybe he's freaking on meth oh my god but like ugh ugh like that like that image in my head I could really wish I could gone without like I'm telling you guys like she was literally like mouthing like help me like help me like help. like you could see sheer panic on her face and just like oh my god like and I feel so bad that I didn't do anything like I <sighs> oh my god so yeah like and then the one dude who has like the boyfriend like he was in a really weird mood last night and I think it's because they didn't really want me to go like I wasn't actually invited by the group tonight which is what I found shady because the the only per, like reason why I like knew to go or like the only reason why I went is because the one of my like old like managers she went um, and she invited me cause, and I went because I know that she doesn't drink so I was like okay well I'll be you know like I'll be some sober support for you because I can't drink tonight either so I don't know like it really just like rubbed me the wrong way like how like seeing how people actually act like when I'm actually like paying attention and being the wallflower that I am like it's just so funny how it's like you can be in a space that's like all inclusive you know LGBT friendly yet feel so alienated and feel so like pushed to the wall like like it's like if you don't come with a cl like a click or a group you're just gonna be solo the whole night like I'm just like I'm over it and it's not like I'm you know standing you know with my arms no bitch I'm doing all that old the you know the old school like freaking tricks in the books where it's like you know stand great position smile like give great you know like open inviting energy and it's like people they don't care they don't care I'm like wow I'm like I don't know damn it's already been 10 minutes shit I could just go on and on and on but I'm not trying to complain too much because like complaining's really bad and I'm, like, kind of having a mind shift change because, like, I watched, like, the movie The Secret. So, like, maybe I'll tell you guys about that. Like, I guess tomorrow we could talk about that. 
But yeah, I only have to work till one and then I get off and then I think I'm gonna get Thai food and then I'm gonna go home and do this like stupid, stupid, like student orientation, do some homework and have a really chill Thursday. Okay, bye guys.